This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 63 of the Orc Gunwing tutorial. Let's start by selecting. I go into the front view, select all these things, and scale them down a bit, and then move them up. Go back into perspective, and then select this polygon here and just bring it down a bit. Okay, uh, next let's select or go into the left view here, make sure auto grid's off, and then create a cylinder right in the center there. Okay, bring it over. Increase the height, decrease that, change these to 8. Okay. And we're going to want to center to object, or center to rotation. And just copy it, like so. Okay, next we're going to want to move them a bit. Okay, select them all, do it again, and again. Okay, go into perspective here for a second. Let's actually move these a bit closer, so just bring them in a bit. Okay, um, then select them all. Just like that, and just line it up. Okay, select this. A compound objects pro boolean. Start picking, and pick all of these. So we have some nice holes there. Convert to editable poly edges and chamfer. Give them a really small chamfer because they never chamfer correctly. Okay, looks half decent. Select this, edges, select that edge and that edge. Uh, connect. A slide of zero. And just bring it up. Okay, next, select these two, connect, bring it down a bit, select this and this, and uh, connect, bring it over, okay, uh, create a box, you can task the next step. Okay, back to this. Um, Let's create a box that goes from about here out a bit. And then while we're at it, uh, let's select this polygon, or actually select all these vertices. So go into the top view. I don't know why I did that, I can just do it over here. Select all those verts, go back to perspective, and just move them back a bit. Okay. Select this, convert to editable poly polygon. Select that, 
drag it back, drag this up, select this, and drag it to about midway, and select this, that back a bit, actually, just drag that back a, even a bit more. Okay, uh, select all these edges and connect, okay, bring the connection down a bit, so on this side, bring it up, to about right below there, polygon, uh, select all of these polygons here, and extrude them on their local normal. Kind of thick. Okay, edge. Select that loop. Select that loop. Jumper, a little larger actually, and you can make it two. Okay, uh, select this polygon here, and select this edge and that edge. Connect. Mm. And now select this vertex right here. Bring it down. Polygon. Select that. Uh, inset it just a bit first. Okay, extrude. Okay, just extrude it. Bring it out. Flatten it. Okay, sink it in a bit. Select the edges and chamfer. Give it a small chamfer. Okay. Um, select this edge, select that edge, and that edge. Connect. Bring it up. Select that edge, connect. Bring it over. Polygon, select that polygon in there. And just extrude back a bit, okay, just to give the uh, impression that it's in somewhat, okay, next we're going to want to uh, select this edge, select that, oops, that, and select that edge, connect. Alright. And polygon, select that. Just bevel that inward a bit. Or actually do it outward a bit. Okay. Um, create a cylinder. Uh, Seven sides. Okay, and create it. Convert to editable poly polygons like that. Edges chamfer. Okay. Uh, move it over there. That'll be it for part 63. I'll see you in part 64.